Whoops. Hi guys. Uh, good morning. I don't know what time it is where you're watching me from, but it is morning here. So today's video is a cook with me kind of video. I want to make dinner this morning, yes, because I won't be around. So I'd like to show you guys a little about a little of how to make this dinner. So today I'm going to be making Ofako called Banga stew. Ofako originated from Anambra state. In fact, they are the only people that makes Ofako, except now that some people are trying to copy them. But you cannot compare Ofako made by an Anambra person to the one made by people from other states, except the person was taught by an Anambra person, especially Newi people. Ofaku is their specialty. So we are going to be making Ofaku. I'm going to be teaching you how Newi people make their Ofaku. Ofaku Banga stew in Nigeria. So it's not Banga, if you don't know what Banga stew is, it's not like the regular stew that you need to fry the tomatoes and the onion and the other things that you need to fry before you come up with the stew. We get to the stage of it being this being a stew. This one is everything is natural, it's not going to be fried. Banga and Banga stew is different from uh, banga soup. Banga soup is by worry people. That's worry people. Their own is called banga soup and they make it in a different way. Used for eating starch. But this one I'm making is called banga stew. Ofako. Used for eating rice. Everything in it is natural. No frying. I'm not going to add any fresh tomatoes. I'm not going to add any form of tomatoes. So I'm going to be teaching you how new people make their banga stew and what what makes it special so join me as we cook this dinner and i hope you enjoy the video while we watch let me introduce you guys to the ingredients i'll be using for this stew all right if i'm using vegetables small if you want you can opt opt this ogo part i'm using stock fish this is my uh no cube uh, that's a uh, stock cube this is my salt this is my ehuru this is it. This is my Ogiri Ope. <laughs> oh, that's native uh, Maggi. This is my Ogiri Ope. This is my stockfish. This is my onion. This is my meat. This is meat. I'm using beef for it. You can use any uh, type of protein of your choice. This is the one I chose to use. This is my pepper. This is yellow pepper. This is sense leaf. You can't cook banga stew without scent leaves so this is scent leaf i bought this one brought it from my backyard i have a garden so this is scent leaf this is my ogo so these are the ingredients we'll be using for this banga stew but the original as in the main the main thing for this as in thing that we cannot do without in this banga stew is apple right here this is the main thing that we use like for the thickening and everything in fact this is the stew itself i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pound the banga i will pound so this is how you pound the banga i'm using mortar if you have mortar if you have an uh toaster paint or big this big big tomato container something you can always pound it inside the mommy doesn't like to use mortar because she said the bangas makes the mortar not to last for long but mortar is mortar is more convenient for me we are done pounding the banga now this is what you should look like after pounding it extract the juice from the banga so i'll be using hot water to extract the juice i've boiled on because it's already cold so if i pour cold water in it the oil will just be stuck on my stuck on my hand so i'll be using hot water i'll pour hot water then add cold water to make it warm so it, the oil will easily come out you know what we need is the oil that's the stock from the but this, those juicy something that you're seeing those are the things we need for the banga stew so let me transfer them to my bowl and they will continue with the process so this is the banga after pounding this is the banga this is what i'm using to sieve this is my sieve this is my bowl this pot for the cooking of the the banga i'll be using this pot for it this, my meat is already on fire boiling so let's see let me show you how to sieve it because if you miss the sieving part of this banga that means you have already missed the the whole of our issue because if the banga is too watery then that means you will not need to add fresh tomato so you'll be doing it small small you won't pack all of them at once but let me show you
Like I'm washing it and I'm putting it back into this pot. So like I'm rinsing, washing the baga inside the warm water. Guys, this part is the most difficult part in making baga. If you don't get this part, you will not get the. You end up adding tomato for it to be thick. Yeah? The one that my mom sent for me in my previous video. If you watch that video of my mother, Mother's Day gift from my mom, you will see the banga. This is native banga. It's not the average one that they sell in the market. This is native. So you can see how thick it is. You can see very thick. So let me sieve it into my pot now. So when you sieve it out, throw it right back into the bowl again and uh, do the second. This stage now you have to be very careful with the amount of water you are adding so it doesn't get watery. You'll be adding the water bit by bit, small, small. Don't do the rinsing at once. So at this point now it is clean. There is nothing left inside the green. Panel. If you want to make pancane oil, that's the black oil. This is what you need for it. You just break it. You dry it in the sun and when it dries, you crack it and bring out the candle inside it, then proceed with the pancane oil. But this one you can also chew it or use it to drink gare. If the second one is still it's not that watery, but it's not as thick as the first one. That is why you need to make sure the first one is very thick. So this is it. And for the cooking, you can see the banga. So this is it. You can see it is not watery. So by the time the thing boils now, it will become thicker. Thicker than this. So I'll go ahead and put it on fire now. So we'll start the cooking. And uh, I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like later. So now the banga is warm now. We need to sieve it for the final time to make sure that there is no sand under it. So I'll be receiving it now. Can see those something like, like sand under it. I don't you can see our banga is boiling. You saw those foamy things? Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. See, it's boiling very well. I can see it. I see all the boiling stuff. Yes. So I forgot to mention we'll be adding crayfish. We're adding crayfish to this, our delicious delicacy. So I'll go ahead now and use hot water to soak my soak my stock fish. I'm going to soak it with hot water to make it very soft before I'll use it. Before the banga is ready for other things to enter. My meat is all done. My meat is all done. So if you watch now, you will observe that those uh, bubbles have all disappeared. So at this point now, those bubbles show that the banga is getting ready, that is 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 done i don't know how to say it but they say is that's how you know that the banga is done like it's no longer fresh it's well cooked now so at this point now we're going to be adding our onion so that you will see that another bubbles will start bubbling up now so at this point now we'll put our onion and cover it again to boil to make sure that all those bubbles are all gone you can see that the bubbles are coming up again so we'll cover it for some time now and let the bubbles let the bubbles clear once more so you can see that all the bubbles are gone so at this point now so we put in our stock fish here, and then we'll add our pepper and the crayfish at this point So you can see it now, we'll be adding our, this is crayfish, pepper, the egg and the egg with a little salt. I'm trying. 
trying to scatter the stock fish so you don't he's not in lungs. So now you can see our meat is well cooked now and then you can see that the water almost dried so I'm going to be adding the meat now. Make sure you don't have too much water in your meat. If not, all your effort will be in vain. So for now, I will let it boil. I think I'm gonna need to transfer the stew from this pot because this pot looks too big for it. But that will be later though. Let it boil. This smells amazing. Oh, see that bubbling sound. <laughs> you see that? Can see, see how thick it is. It's still get, it's gonna get thicker too. See that bubbling sound. See, can see the fuck. It's coming together. So at this point, you can add your stock cube. Maggie, whatever brand you're using, whatever flavor you're using, you can add it now. But oh, this is it, you can see. It's almost, almost ready. So guys, I later changed the pot. And this is what I'm left with now. So I changed the pot so that you'll be able to see, like, see those oil. So those bubbly stuff then was the oil like this. That's, at least that's what my mom told me. So those were the oil and they were cooking now they are ready you can see how oily the soup is now sometimes when i finish cooking it if i find out that the oil is too much i'll just sieve out the oil i even use it for other cooking but you can see the soup is all ready the only thing that is missing in this soup now is those vegetables so i will be adding the vegetable this is the vegetable So this is the scent leaf. This is the scent leaf. This is the ogo. I told you just little that I'm going to be adding. So I'll just add the scent leaf first, then I will add the ogo later. So this is the scent leaf. I've just added the scent leaf now. You can stop at this. You cannot. You can decide not to add another leaf. But I, used, I like to add uh, ogo because you can see that oil. So you can decide to stop at this point not add any other leaf i'm going to go ahead and add my ogo leaf i will add small at all all of it so i'll just add small of it and then so this is that stock fish i'm going to go ahead oops it's spilling i would have continued with my pot too so this is the bangana it's ready So let's have a taste of this stew. So delicious oh my god guys you need to test this soup but you need to test this everything is right on point everything is on point so tasty and yummy mm. just part of my clothes so guys if you try this video if you try this and you enjoy with my recipe this bangas to please do well to let me know how it went how the whole thing went yeah for me why i'll see you guys in my next one